Hey guys, this is Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. I'm out in Florida. Uh, it's beautiful and sunny out, and so the sun is very related to this topic right now, and I, you can see I have my shirt off, and that has to relate to this topic. This is the three benefits that the sun provides you that most people don't realize. Um, so, sun, p people think the sun's horrible for you, that it can give you cancer. Of course, it can give you uh, DNA damage if you, you're exposed to it too much. Uh, and that's there's you can also get problems with uh, too much sunscreen because there's there's chemicals in there uh, So Sun can actually pre pre prevent cancer sun exposure um, And that is part of this first reason is because it helps increase your vitamin D levels And so vitamin D is really essential uh, Something that you we don't get enough of in our in our food uh, You can you can get some in your food from mushrooms like uh, vitamin D2 uh, Or you can supplement vitamin D3 uh, Which I had to do so I wasn't getting enough sun exposure when I was in college. I was living in Boston where it was cold and the days were shorter than normal. Uh, or not the days, the, the, the sunlight of the days was shorter than normal, especially during the winter. And growing up in Florida, I was so used to warm and being outdoors. But once I got to college for four years, my levels dropped because I never went out into the sun. So I, eventually my levels were at 20 nanograms per milliliter, which is very low. And then I eventually was able to supplement and go out back in the sun when I was living in Los Angeles to get them back up to 74 nanograms per milliliter, which was, I was feeling way better after that. Uh, but vitamin D is so essential, it, it helps you produce over 200 uh, hormones in your body, uh, which is incredible. And so it's not, vitamin D is not a vitamin, it is a hormone, and it can be produced from the sun and from your diet. But it's better to get it from the sun. Uh, it's been, studies have st shown that people who live by the equator are healthier, so it helps your immune function. Uh, and people who, who, uh, are, are in the sun just live longer because you, you have that uh, protection and and don't I, I, I don't really recommend uh, sunscreen or the, the, the typical sunscreens um, because they're, they're, they've got tons of, uh, of chemicals in them um, so that, that's some that's something to stay away from and so the the, uh, the second part of vitamin not vitamin D of the Sun that uh, it really helps you is that it, it's, it's great for our circadian rhythm so our circadian rhythm uh, controls when we wake up uh, it helps our immune system. It helps when we eat. Uh, it helps us know uh, when to like uh, reproduce, um, which is which is pretty fascinating. So the circadian rhythm really regulates a lot of functions of our body. Uh, and many people who are nocturnal uh, and have insomnia have messed up circadian rhythms. And so a way to fix that your circadian rhythm is to go out into the sun right when you wake up. So. I would say wake up at six or seven whenever sunrise is uh, and see the sun as it rises because that infrared on your skin, first of all, is good for you and that red light on your eyes signals parts of your brain to wake up and start uh, stop producing melatonin, which is your sleep hormone, uh, and wake up for the day. It starts your, your active process, gets you hungry, and that's so you can eat like a, a, three, a typical three day, uh, three meal, um, uh, meal schedule during the day and so you get you get this process uh, so you see you see the, the the red light in the morning from the Sun and then you look at night where when the Sun's going down with sunset you watch the sunset or watch around the sunset you don't have to look directly at the Sun um, and you, you're, you're signaling your brain that it's time to get ready for bed and and help your process so if you have an autoimmune disorder or if, if you've got any chronic fatigue of any sort uh, getting your circadian rhythm in an order is really helpful and also helps with weight loss. M many people don't realize that your weight uh, can be attributed to a bad circadian rhythm. So when you watch the sunset going down, uh, after, after you watch that, I, I rec highly recommend wearing red light. If you see me with the, the red, red glasses on, uh, they're, they're blue light blocking glasses and they, they don't allow blue light to go into your brain, uh, to your eyes, because blue light... Uh, tells your brain that it's still daylight outside and when there's no blue light that's when your brain knows there's time it's time to produce melatonin the sleep uh, neurotransmitter uh, in your brain or the sleep hormone uh, so so you'll start getting sleepy and when you're like on your phone and you don't use something like uh, Twilight or flux or on your laptop or the new uh, Apple night night nighttime night shade or whatever they call it uh, then then you uh, won't know uh, your body won't know it's time for bed um, so you can you can 
mess up your sleep from there and that can add to your uh, uh, immune problems or, or, or your chronic fatigue, insomnia, whatever it is you have. And I, I had that problem uh, when I was in college. Uh, I was never going outside because first of all, it was, was butt ass cold. Um, and also uh, the short days. And so I had no motivation to go outside um, and see the circadian rhythm. And so I is, essentially became insomniac and got chronic fatigue from that. Um, so that's something you should know. And uh, the, the, the third thing that I, I really want to talk about uh, with the sun, sun exposure actually increases your neurotransmitters. <clears throat> Two really essential neurotransmitters that we have, which is uh, serotonin and dopamine. So serotonin, uh, a deficiency in serotonin can actually give you anxiety and uh, many people don't realize it. It's, it's kind of our, our happy uh, neurotransmitter uh, in, in a sense. And so that's what SSRIs work on. They, they work on inflammation and recycling serotonin uh, in the, the synapses um, in, in, the, in the brain. So serotonin can be increased from the sun. Uh, when the sunlight hits you, it, it activates parts in your brain to tell you to produce more serotonin. And same thing with dopamine. So dopamine is our uh, euphoria, motivation, feel good uh, neurotransmitter that you accomplish something. So signs of uh, low dopamine is actually like lethargy, depression, um, feeling of, uh, of, 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 uh, uh, of, sc of scaredness, like uh, something bad, bad will happen to you. Um, so I've got two videos actually up uh, on, on my channel. I'll put them in the links below of how to increase serotonin naturally and how to increase dopamine naturally, which you, you can watch. And also uh, you want to watch out for acetylcholine because too high of acetylcholine will uh, close or uh, close the synapses and, and slow down dopamine production in your brain. Uh, so that I have seven ways to naturally decrease uh, acetylcholine. Uh, I'll put that in the description below. So. As you can see right now, I'm fully exposed with the top half of my body into the sun so I can get my vitamin D, I can enhance my neurotransmitters, uh, I can also prevent cancer, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty great from it. Uh, so thanks guys for watching. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe so you can see more episodes and learn more awesome facts like this that you wouldn't know. And thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.